Hi Libra, this is going to be your love message for the beginning of January. It's good for sun, rising, moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Libra and tropical astrology. However, keep in mind it is a general message. It's not a private message meant for just one person, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. This is just the energy I'm picking up on today. Things could be opposite, roles could be reversed. Take the message as it resonates. If you would, however, like a private reading, the link to my website is down in the description below this video. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. I read for you guys a lot. Thanks for being here with me. Oh, if you're looking for readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. I do read for you guys over there too. On this channel, I just read for Libra and Sag and we hyper focus on relationships. Let us begin. Okay, brace yourself. This was tough. If things are going well in your love life, this message might not be for you, but this looks really tough and hard. Um, what's going on right now for you guys is resilience, surrender, and extremes. I have fear at the bottom of the deck. I also see release down here. I have balance down here in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I think you've been very resilient in a relationship. I almost get the feeling that you're about to give up or you're like, you know, I just have to surrender to the way things are. The relationship oper has been operating in extremes, maybe running hot and cold and fear. There's a lot of fear. Fear to release, fear to let go, because I have fear and release. I feel like a relationship has been so extreme, or it will be so extreme in the beginning of the month, that it just weighs you down. You may want to let it go and surrender and just do radical acceptance, but you may have a fear of releasing. We are often afraid to let something go. We're afraid of what will happen. But this is the main point here, is extremes operating under a lot of extremes. From the Soma Chandra Oracle deck, if you're new, my 15 year old made this deck for us. <laughs> what your cards are Libra is our, our um, lessons learned. I'm overwhelmed, spiritual awakening, my pride and ego is bruised. That's a lot, take a nap, like literally take a knee the beginning of the year. I think you are learned some lessons here, but the lessons you've learned are very overwhelming. Some of you are just overwhelmed right now. And yet with all your lessons learned and the overwhelming feeling, you are having a spiritual awakening. You're having an awakening. I mean, I have justice at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, this is a major lesson learned sometimes when justice comes out and your pride and ego is definitely feeling pretty bruised right now. A person in your energy, they're a little weird. Karma is a bitch. I can't let anyone get close. You're doing this to yourself, dangling a carrot. Okay. Well, this person has experienced some karma. Karma is a bitch. And they have a hard time letting you or anyone get close right now. They're doing this to themselves. And they're also dangling a carrot in front of you. At the bottom of the deck, I have, I can't forgive you. I also see that you guys are going to be super busy. You're super busy. Someone's super busy. There is a lack of forgiveness between you and this person. I think you are having a hard time forgiving them. You're coming out as hurt very much so here. And this could just be like, it may have nothing to do with this person, maybe like a health crisis of some kind. But um, the way you see yourself right now, Libra, is the five of swords. Not happy. Fighting for something here. Standing up for yourself, maybe. Anger. The way you're feeling is the wheel of fortune. I think you feel like this is something that's been going on and on and on for you. You want change. You're ready for change. But this could like be just be karmic cycles playing out. But your action towards this person is the three of pentacles. I think you want to try and work it out. So Libra, you're showing me the five of swords. Clarifying the five of swords is the hermit, the two of swords, and the five of swords again. Well, you're definitely going to be spending time alone at the beginning of the month, really searching your soul. You know, in Vedic astrology, Libra is actually Virgo, so this should not be too uncomfortable for you. You're going to think about stuff a lot. Two of Swords to the Five of Swords. It's like you have a decision to make, but you may feel somewhat avoidant. Five of Swords. I get the sense that you see yourself as searching your soul and thinking, I really need to make a decision about this relationship. I'm mad. I, I, I kind of get the sense that the five of swords for you is I want to fight for this. I'm not ready to make a decision. It's like you're kind of putting off something still wanting to fight for it. There could be a Virgo involved. But the way you feel is the wheel of fortune. Clarifying the wheel of fortune is the four of pentacles, the seven of swords and the two of wands. This is difficult for you. 
you want to know where something's going to go. You're kind of not at the full blown crossroads, although you did show up as judgment, Scorpio energy here. You still see a future here, but with the Seven of Swords, uh, you're having a hard time being honest about your own feelings here, Libra. And the Four of Pentacles is, I can't let something go. You're having a hard time letting go of something. This might be what you need to forgive a person for. You may have reasons for not being able to let it go. Seven of Swords is like, she's injured here and she's going off by herself. I think you struggle to be honest with yourself about this relationship. And I think you have no idea really how you feel or where it's going with the wheel. It's like anything could happen at this point. You are willing to fight for something here. Your action towards them is the Three of Pentacles. You're going to keep working on something with someone, but clarifying it is the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. There could have been a fire sign female involved, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps, but I'm reading this as you. You're going to keep working on something with a person, but it stresses you out. It's also making you maybe angry and jealous uh, with the five of swords coming out twice, the seven of swords and the queen of wands in reverse. Some of you be careful, especially to my ladies, your shadow side is coming out. You may be experiencing jealousy. You may be feeling a, like the queen of wands in reverse has a really important homework assignment. She needs to focus on independence and her own self-worth. That's hard for you right now. And the eight of cups in reverse, this is where we know we need to leave something behind, but we can't because we're too afraid of what's on the other side of the mountain. You know what's on the other side of the mountain? Just the other side of the mountain. That's all. That's all there is. But the Eight of Cups comes in reverse when maybe we have some abandonment issues. We want to try one more time. Best case scenario, you're not ready to walk away. Worst case scenario, you don't have anything to walk away to, therefore you won't. And it's pissing you off, you're hanging on, you're not even being entirely honest with your feelings. Ouch. I'm sorry, I was like, oh God. I don't like delivering a harsh truth message to a sign I'm reading for, but if it comes out, it's what you need to hear. A person in your energy sees themselves as the moon. They could be a Pisces or a Cancer. They don't have to be that sign though. Clarifying the moon is the seven of wands, the ace of wands, and the king of wands. Well, if they're a guy, they're being elusive with you. They may show up as being confused and heavy in, in their emotions and in their feelings. But under when I get the moon and the seven of wands, it, it's back off. I'm confused. I don't know how I feel or I don't want you to know how I feel. Ace of wands to the king of wands. He may already be planning his new venture here. If it's a woman, she's saying back off, I'm interested in another guy. I have a king and queen of wands here. I feel like this person may want to start something new, but they also don't want to tell you that. And I can see evidence of that because they're hanging on here with you. Also, the ace of wands to the king of wands is this person may want to start their own business. They want to do something exciting with their life. They may see, they may envision themselves and dream about being this grand, visionary, strong, passionate person and leader. They may feel as though they're met with opposition and therefore that confuses them. Or they're just, they want freedom. They just want to start something new. The way they feel about you is the nine of wands. So they're really guarded with you. So if you're coming at them with anger and being a little, the seven of swords is when we're a little tricky, a little deceitful even, or we're uh, best case scenario, we're calculated. Some of you, like you don't want to let go of the relationship, but a part of you is thinking about leaving and making a change too, but it's hard to let go. This person is guarded with you. So if you come at them with the five of swords, they're going to be like, whoa. But clarifying this is the four of wands, page of wands, nine of cups in reverse. First of all, I think if they're hanging on with you, Libra, it's because they experience stability with you. But the page of wands tells me this person also may be a smoker. This person also has a very carefree side and a side that does not want to be tied down. There could be a child involved. This child could be a fire sign. Nine of cups in reverse. Be careful with this person. Um, they experience they are an indulgent person that wants instant gratification. The nine of cups should be happy. He didn't even look happy in the upright. 
They may be indulgent to a degree. I see back and forth with this person. Are they confusing you? They're confusing me. And their further actions confuse me even more. So we are definitely doing an extended. I'm like, oh, you're, you might be confusing them, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this person. I was like, hell no. I feel like this person may be playing a little bit of a game with you. And I don't know that they mean to either. But their action towards you is the star. Well, they may want a freedom from you or they may want a renewal with you. Clarifying this is the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Jesus Christ. <sighs> this makes no sense. Like, look at this Page of Cups. They feel very vulnerable. So this person may rush in at you if you've been on... I, you're showing me the Ten of Swords and Death. Something could have ended between the two of you recently, or you've made a decision that this is too painful and you need something to change it's bruising your pride and ego. You're overwhelmed. You're having an awakening about it. If you, you're showing me, Libra, that you want to try to continue to make this work with the person despite how stressful and extreme it is for you. It's hard for you to surrender and yet you're so resilient and you're resilient. This person may appear vulnerable with you. This person may be a younger air sign here with the Knight of Swords. They're showing me that they see themselves as this mature King of Wands, but their action is a page and a knight and the wheel. You both have the wheel. This is cycles playing out. If you have been on some kind of a break or you have broken up, I see them coming back in, racing in actually. If you show them your vulnerability, they may race in but it'll just be a cycle that you play out all over again. This person I think is vulnerable and they may be a risk taker as well with the Knight of Swords. And they're just gonna, they're not even really sure where they're going. The Wheel of Fortune is so affected by the environment. Your cards, Libra, further out are Judgment, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and Death. Something is really hurting you. Something needs to change. This is like you're dying inside almost here. Like something, there could just be Scorpio here. You know transformation is necessary. I see a huge wound here being revealed for you. And here's your spiritual awakening. Don't ignore the inner calling. You're hearing an inner calling about what you have to do. It hurts for you to hear it with the Ten of Swords. It's also very hard for you to let go. Uh, but conversely, if someone wanted something from you, you won't give it to them. Like you won't give them any money or anything like that. I think you hold back, but you hold on. And it's almost like this is dying and ending whether you want it to or not. It's like you're trying to be resilient, but you're trying to surrender. It's been so extreme. And there's fear here for you. I feel like the Four of Pentacles is coming out out of a fear of letting go. And justice is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, I think someone may just want, someone may just want to like skip town or someone's very driven towards the relationship. They may even be being foolish. We've got the chariot to the devil and the Knight of Wands running right into trouble here. Here you are as the Queen of Swords. If this person's been separated from you, they're going to come back again and they're going to want to sleep with you. This is very stressful. It's like you want to break through, but it's wearing you down at the same time. This person's cards. Wow. The Two of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Moon, the Page of Swords. Libra, I would not trust this person. First of all, they're going to come in and sing you a sob story with the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups, maybe even an apology because the Page of Cups is here. But this vulnerability, how old is this person? The moon, she's hiding her face. They are very elusive and emotional. I can read the moon in a lot of different ways, but in this reading, surrounded by the different cards that have come out each time the moon has come out, I feel like this person is hiding things. They're elusive. And the page of swords, they wonder what you're doing. It's like they can't stop watching you if you haven't been talking to them. 
They don't want you to know they keep tabs on you. They felt a connection with you. They want to talk to you, but it's mostly just to get information or they felt a strong connection with you. They're really sad about the way things are going, but they're super emotional and confused and they may be defensive, but open to communication. Be careful though, because this person did tell us, I can't let anybody get close. They do this to themselves and they're dangling a carrot in front of you and somebody can't forgive somebody for something. Again, if you have not, and that's what justice is being served here, like you can't expect things to be any different than they are right now based on the choices that you've made. You may need to serve justice with this person, but I almost feel like this is consequences for not letting go. Some of you have had a hard time letting go. Be mindful that you're not confusing a bruised pride or ego with love. I do think you're... Be I think the awakening and the transformation you're having right now because of this scenario or relationship is overwhelming for you. You might be fighting just to fight. I, and I feel like if this person hasn't been talking to you for a while, they want two things at the same time. They wanna be vulnerable and race towards you and have a renewal with you because they have stability with you, but they are indulgent and they're already planning something else and they don't wanna to talk to you about their emotions. It's like they just wanna know what you're doing and hide behind a mask. They do this shit to themselves. I'm gonna do it extended because I wanna see if they're trying to talk to you after not talking to you for a while, I wanna see what they have to say to you. If it's been an ongoing relationship, I'd like to know how they see you and what they want from you and what their further actions are gonna be. Because I see a tricky back and forth person, which is why the card of extremes came out. Oy, tough. All right, Libra, that's your reading for the beginning of January, the first couple days of January. I, if this resonates with you, I truly hope it helps you. It was a tough reading. Check your other placements on Soma Chandra Tara, my other channel. And if you need the extended reading, the link to that will be at the top of the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.